factors. So, as you all know, um, Zika virus, which uh, is was described decades ago in Africa and Uganda, was described first in 1947, has in recent times really begun to uh, spread very quickly in uh, South America, Central America, Mexico, and the Caribbean. Uh, and that is important to New York City because we're a global entry point. We're also a global city. Uh, nearly 40% of our population is foreign born. And we have a lot of travel uh, back and forth between areas in which uh, we now know that Zika is being transmitted. This is a mosquito borne infection. People don't get it from person to person. It's not spread from one person to another. It's spread by being bitten by a mosquito that's bitten somebody that had Zika, become infected and transmits it through the mosquito. We've now had three cases of Zika uh, described in, uh, identified here in New York City. And yesterday we uh, had a laboratory confirmation of infection uh, in a pregnant woman. Uh, now, uh, that uh, gives us the opportunity to uh, try and get the word out, and all of you are really important to getting the word out, uh, about the travel advisory that's been made for pregnant women in uh, a advising them to avoid travel to the growing list of countries in which Zika transmission is occurring uh, because of concerns of a complication that has been uh, not um, uh, not definitively confirmed, but strongly suspected as, uh, as being associated with Zika infection in pregnancy, that is uh, having a small head and a small brain and a newborn baby, it's called microcephaly. Uh, so we also wanted to tell people about the things that we're doing to uh, make sure that we are prepared for Zika. We have no transmission going on here in New York, New York City, although we do have a related mosquito uh, that is present in our city. It's not mosquito season, it's winter, uh, so we don't see mosquito-borne infections in wintertime, uh, but we are working both to ensure that we better understand the, uh, the distribution of the species, it's called Aedes, um, that um, albopictus in New York City, that potentially could be a vector for Zika, and we're also uh, most importantly right now, getting the word out to people.